So, I said in my earlier video that I was listening to Amy Coney Barrett all day, and I came home, and I immediately rushed in and turned on Amy Coney Barrett. I did not know about the Washington Post story about these Biden emails. I still don't know about it. <laughs> this is, no. This is not something that I can just go <gasps> and start speculating on. No. I'm going to have to go through a lot of this to fucking, so you're going to have to wait on that shit. It might take days. It might take weeks. I, I don't fucking know. But I will be talking about it at some point. Oh, 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 oh you betcha, right? Um, but right now, as the title of the video will confirm when I figure out what I'm going to make it, uh, I want to talk about the, the guy that I am now referring to as my former troll. That's not even really accurate. The guy I formerly thought was a troll. Whatever. Anyways. Um, the guy made a video, and he linked it to me. You know, it didn't have him visually or anything like that. It had some weird background. And uh, he just kind of talked to me. Right? And being able to hear his voice helped me amazingly. Um, I don't think he's fucking around anymore. I think he's serious. Uh, it's a tad bit more concerning that he's serious because, you know, but he's serious. Um, I have been in pretty much constant talks with the guy since and I've, I've realized that the reason why he thinks the way that he does is maybe three parts because he's goofy. <laughs> like, he's just goofy. Like anybody else is, I'm goofy too. But he's, he's three parts goofy with, like, Three parts ignorance and four parts just fucking being lied to and just believing it for whatever reason. And so <clears throat> I'm kind of trying to work through earning his trust, right? Uh, it's something that I go through with all of you at one point or another, whether you consciously think of it or not. Some people have consciously thought of it and they've had moments and they left comments saying to right there what you said right there I believe I can trust you because of that it's like, All right, cool. so I'm in the process of earning the man's trust I've already scored a point for my side because he had a complaint against Donald Trump he actually referenced me the material the source material that he was going off of I went through it the whole shebang bang Right? And I proved that it was bullshit. I sent him my retort. He looked through it. He saw one line in it that made him go, motherfuckers. And just like that. So I've at least shown him that one time I wasn't the one lying to him. And that's fucking progress. So, got the batteries. Um, I'm getting somewhere. That's good. Because I'm not trying to fuck with him. I'm not trying to lie with him. I'm not just trying to push him to support Trump because I like Trump. I, I, I'm not the things that he, he has assumed I am. And I think he's beginning to learn that. So I think he's looking with a less critical eye at what I'm saying. And with more critical eye, with a more critical eye, at what the opposition is saying, to what I'm saying, and that's good enough for me. Like honestly, that's good enough for me. You have to be able to trust somebody. God damn it! Like you have to be able to trust somebody out there. Like it, the collapse of our of our news organizations is is probably the worst thing that is happening to us right now. 
the, the whole point of the evening news was to inform the voting public what's going on so that we have an educated voting public. Right? It's no different than if the military or the Supreme Court were biased in one way or another. We need to have all three of them be unbiased. The military can't be biased. They can't just start attacking states because they don't like them, right? The uh, Supreme Court can't be biased because we need to have an unbiased view of the law so that nobody is held to a different standard of the law, so that everybody is equal under the law, right? And we need to have an unbiased media to give us the actual fucking truth of what's going on in the world so that we can make good, informed decisions when we step into that voting booth. We don't fucking have that anymore. We've got one channel that's least most popular broadcasting is the fucking actual news. All you've got is Fox. All you've got is the afternoon, whatever the fuck it is. The, the, the what is it called? The America's Newsroom with, with Sandra Smith and whoever the fuck the other guy is now. Right? Pretty much, that's your news. That's as close as you get to unbiased news. And even that is oftentimes bullshit because they're reporting on biased bullshit. So it's like... So everybody now needs to figure it out for themselves. That's a daunting fucking task because a lot of people don't care that much and don't have time to bother with it. So they see the one thing that they see that they either go, okay, well, that's my fucking opinion now because, eh. Or they wait until they see something they like and then they go, well, that's my opinion, which was going to be their fucking opinion anyway. So, right? Like, it's ridiculous. We need to have somebody in the journalistic fucking field that we can trust to be impartial and fair. Unbiased in their reporting. We don't have it. Like, Harris Faulkner is as close, as I think, as we get to an honest journalist these days in, in the mainstream. So, like, we have to have somebody that we can trust. We have to have somebody out there that we can listen to what they say and go, well, look, dude's never stared me, steered me wrong in the past. And whenever he has, he's quickly come around and said, okay, I fucked up because I didn't know this. And then he tells me what's going on. So, I, I, you know, he's what I got. Like, if you're going to be the person who doesn't give a fuck, you have to have somebody who's at least going to fucking tell you the truth. But most people can't even tell who's telling the truth anymore. Because, like, there's so many news outlets now, and they're all kind of stupid, right? So, the New York Times comes out with a report, right? Other journalists see this report. They call the New York Times to say, how, you know, how did you verify this? What the fuck, right? And then the New York Times said, we had this person verify it and this person verify it. And they go, okay, great. And then they call those people and go, you verified this? And they go, yeah, all right, cool. And you verified this? Yeah, all right, cool. They both also work at the New York Times. So the New York Times has two-person verification that are both people that work at the New York Times. So that's essentially, yeah, I found this, and yeah, he was there when I found it. Like, that's, that's what they do. And then... All these other news outlets report it, right? And then they go, well, see, all these other news outlets have verified it, too. Well, they verified it, but call them the New York Times. Of course, the New York Times is going to go, yeah, that's our story, and yeah, it's legit. So they're just printing fucking lies and going, ah, this is all verified by people. It's all verified by the same fucking people who lied in the first place. So, like, uh, you know, like... So you can't trust anything anymore. So you gotta try to find something. And I'm not interested in bullshit. I'm interested in what's going on. And sometimes I get it wrong because I have to sift through a lot of bullshit. And that's why it might take weeks for me to talk about these emails because I might not wind up talking about them at all. They might come up around that it's bullshit and I might come out and go, yeah, there was this thing, but it was bullshit. And that'll be my video.
Or it could be some fucking thing, and I could be talking about this for the next couple of years before Joe Biden's arrested put in jail. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, mm, I don't know. We'll see where it goes, but right now, it's in its total infancy. It's no more than a clump of cells. At any point, this story could be aborted. So I gotta wait until it has, you know, shape and a heartbeat before I give a fuck about it, right? Isn't that how it goes? So, yeah. But, you know, it's, it's, I'm getting progress with this guy. At the end of the day, back to the topic, uh, uh, he's, he's starting to come around. And that's very fucking promising, man. That, that, that shit makes me happier than I can't even begin to tell you. Like, every time you guys tell me how amazingly you agree with me and it's all wonderful and all that shit, nothing compared to the feeling I got when that dude left me that comment saying, I got to this point in that article that you sent me, and I was like, those motherfuckers lied to me. Nothing made me happier than that. There is nothing I have found on YouTube than when somebody who absolutely just despises my points of view on everything, when I get them to go, oh, shit. Oh, that's awesome. That's... So amazing to me. And some of you just can't give that to me. And I understand that. But that's why I love all of you equally. It's just some of you I love more. Because I had to work for it. <laughs> Look, man, if you're going to give it up. <laughs> Anyways. So that's what's going on with with the, the guy that... I'm, I'm working with. We're working together. We're trying together. He and I are trying to figure out the truth of what's going on. Please join us on this adventure. <laughs>